Our next award goes to Under Fire, Journalists in Combat. These are the costs to those who record the brutality of war. This is an area that since the mid 80s has been particularly dedicated to remembering journalists who've been held hostage, who've lost their lives in the course of frontline duty. When I first arrived, the number of names up there would be relatively small. It would be unusual for a journalist to lose their lives on the front line. And now it's pretty commonplace. It barely raises an eyebrow in the population at large. Ladies and gentlemen, producer, director, Martin Brook. This film is about the psychological cost of covering war. This is a field of study that was virtually pioneered by our co-producer, Dr. Anthony Feinstein, who was investigating this when most other people weren't really interested in it. Um, this award is obviously his too, as it is to our executive producer, Laura Morton, who made so much of this happen. And also the documentary channel up in Toronto, a part of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation headed by Bruce Cowley. The award is also to the journalists, people like Finbar O'Reilly from Reuters in West Africa, and who was in Afghanistan and Libya, Paul Watson of the Toronto Star and the Los Angeles Times, um, who has been in so many combat situations, to all the other journalists out there who were in our film, but also to those who on this very day are out there bringing us the news, and some of them are paying quite a price for doing it. Thank you. <laughs>